नमस्कार 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 वेलकम टू द बिल्डिंग बिजनेस प्रोग्राम ऑन दिस यूट्यूब लाइव नाउ वी डू दिस प्रोग्राम फॉर माइक्रो स्मॉल एंड मीडियम बिजनेस एंटरप्राइजेस टू बिल्ड देयर बिजनेसेस विदाउट फेसिंग द चैलेंजेस व्हिच मोस्ट ऑफ द कंपनीज एंड बिजनेसेस फेस on a regular basis so if you are a business owner or an aspiring business owner and you are looking at building your business to the next level go to the chat window and say yes so i know that you are ready to take your results to the next level go to the chat room brothers sisters and say yes that you are ready to take your businesses on to the next level come on quickly with the speed of light say yes 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 and say yes in the chat window everybody go to the chat window and type yes so i know that you are ready and you are a business owner who is looking to change you are a business owner who is looking at growth you are a business owner who wants to overcome their challenges and build a fantastic business which will be profitable and scalable if this is who you are go to the chat window and type a yes let me see that let me read your name let me know that you are ready go say yes 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 in the chat window come on let's do that my brothers and sisters go say yes in the chat window awesome awesome i can see a lot of yes is coming in keep it going keep it going say yes amazing 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 i love you guys my brothers and sisters you are awesome and i welcome you to this amazing session and today's topic is strategic planning for micro small and medium sized enterprises now this is a very deep topic so i would want you to pull out a pen and paper or a notebook and you write down what i'm telling you because i promise you if you implement what i'm going to say is going to change the way you do business now this series which we do it's called building business with dr amit parekh it is intended to help you business owner to get the next level result cutting edge strategies and technologies and tools and systems and processes which will relieve you from your challenges and help you grow scale in all the areas of business whether it's team building whether it's sales whether it's marketing whether it's operational challenges cash flows we are going to give you answers to each and every one of these step by step session by session so you need to stay tuned to this as and when they are happening now one of the major challenge that most msme business owner face is that they start a business and they try to build manage grow their entire business without a proper plan without a thought given to it ki how will i overcome when the challenges come how will i overcome the hurdles of getting more customers how will i overcome the hurdle of conversion how will i overcome the hurdle of service how will i overcome the hurdle of team how will i overcome the hurdle of financial management how will i overcome how will i overcome how will i overcome giving a detailed thought we start aur soste raste mein theek kar lenge chalte chalte theek kar lenge kuch na kuch kar lenge aur india mein to bahut badi cheez hai isko bolte hai jugad to hum sab jugad mein jeete hain aur actually hota kya hai jugad mein gaadi to chal jati hai paisa hi ban jata hai ghar bhi chal jata hai uske aage kuch nahi hota so if you are looking at a business which will be more than ghar gaadi chalana and which really gives you massive wealth and which eventually one day runs without you and can scale up to your deserving level what you really deserve and desire if you want that then you need to build a business with proper planning so one of the major reason why most msmb business face challenge is in their day to day operations and scaling up they do not have a place for strategic planning nor they put in the time for strategic planning and today in this session of building business with dr amit parekh which is me i want to start off by setting the foundation right so it's going to be a series a lot of stuff coming up to you as we go along in couple of months down the line but today we looking at setting the foundation right as i said now if you see running a business without a plan is like driving to a destination without a map now suppose you are going to some place for the first time right you have a goal which you have set for the first time and you're going to there on a say let's say car trip road trip and you don't have any directions you don't have any google map you don't have any sign boards so basically you end up spending much more time in reaching to the place which you will do with help of a map or in worst case scenario 
you might never reach to your destination. You might just go around and on and on and never reach. And you might waste all your energy, time, petrol <laughs> in case of a road trip and be exhausted and be irritated and be frustrated. And I see a lot of business owners in this situation, irritated, frustrated, unhappy, not reaching to the potential. And sometimes they say, Shah, the matter of the Actually, the Nasibh is not issue. The issue is that we have not made a plan. Failing to plan, write this down. Failing to plan is equal to planning to fail. You say, how do you say that? Do you fail to plan? No, you don't do it. But you don't plan to pass. And if you pass to pass, then you also understand that you are going to fail. So we need to make sure that we are having a map for our destination. And this strategic business plan is a tool that helps business owners to navigate their action, up kya karna, up kya karna, up kya karna, and strategies to ensure that they reach their destination on time with the least errors, with the least time wastage, with the least resource wastage, with the least money wastage. So get your pen and paper out because we are going to understand what is strategic business planning and how it is different than normal business plan. What do you think about business plan? We have a plan. वो प्लान कुछ होता नहीं है। A normal business plan means just marketing and sales and some financial number दो करोड़ करेंगे, पांच करोड़ करेंगे, पचास करोड़ करेंगे, सौ करोड़ करेंगे। Now I have people who tell me sir, अबे भाई सौ करोड़ करना है। Now you want to lose hundred crores? Do you know how will you market your products? Do you know how will you put a sales system? Do you know how will incentivize sales team? Do you know how will increase your conversion ratios? Do you know how you serve those customers? Do you know how you build your customer service? Do you know how you build your operations? Do you know how you build your deliveries? Do you know how you how you will build your financial management? Do you know how you recruit the people? Do you know how you will train the people? There are so many things to it. So just saying on the number that this one sale, this one profit, I want to do this is very shallow kind of planning, you know. भाई चिचिली प्लानिंग है बहुत ही सुपरफिशियल लेवल पे एन अथेंटिक एंड अ मोर कंक्रीट प्लान रिक्वायर्स यू टू फोकस ऑन मल्टीपल एरियाज एंड स्ट्रेटजिक प्लान मींस यू कैन राइट दिस डेफिनेशन यू कैन राइट दिस लेट मी लेट मी टेल यू डेफिनेशन अ स्ट्रेटजिक बिजनेस प्लान इज राइट डाउन एवरी प्लीज स्टार्ट मेकिंग नोट्स यू नॉट रिमेंबर एनीथिंग फिर बोलो दो घंटे में सिखाया क्या लिखो <laughs> A strategic business plan means a concrete set of actions that a business will take in all necessary functions. Now there are multiple functions in business. There is marketing function. There is a sales function. There is operational function. There is a customer service. There is training and development. There is HR. There is financial management. There is innovation and IT. There is leadership. There is legal. There are multiple multiple set of functions. These are called business functions. So. A strategic business plan means a concrete set of action, pre-decided, solid, that a business will take in all necessary functions in order to achieve a business goal. Yeh superficial nahi hai, yeh deep jayega, right? So how many of you are willing to learn how to build a strategic business plan? Write down in the chat window, SBP. Write down SBP, strategic business plan. How many of you feel today that learning how to build a strategic business plan is something which will make sense for you, not just a normal business plan, just focusing on sales and marketing and just put some numbers. Do you want to learn strategic business plan? Type SBP, 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 strategic business plan, SBP. Come on, let me see everybody. Guys, take action, participate. Participation means mind is alert. Alert means you will receive and you will retain. Everybody say SVP, strategic business plan. Come on, let me see that. SVP, 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 everybody. Stay alert, stay switched on, stay on high energy. Write this statement down. Everything is energy and energy is everything. Now, if you do it like this, dead and dusted, and you will not retain anything back or you like this. Let me listen for this person has to say. Now that way your mind goes to sleep and it always does because the mind mean, mind understands that right? right? So if you keep your mind alert, if you keep participating, if you keep typing, if you keep making notes, you will be alert and if you are serious about your life and results and your business results, go type SVP in the chat window. Let's tell the universe that you are ready. 
Let's ask the universe for the blessing. Type SBP in the chat window. People who type, they will receive everything, including retained learning. Go say SBP in the chat window. Come on, everybody. SBP. Okay. So now what are the elements of SBP? <laughs> Full form, strategic business plan. What are the elements? I'm going to share with you five key elements by which you will be able to achieve a solid, a concrete, a strategic business plan. Step number one, write down. Step number one, divide business activities into departments. That's step number one. Divide business activities into departments. Now, 99% of businesses don't know what all departments or what all activities under which all heads a business has to be divided. Just they go say business for I are my business for I barabar hai, magar business mein activities club ki hai, departments banaye, sectors banaye, un departments ke goal banaye. If you don't create departmental goals, if you don't create department, if you don't club activities under one heading, then you don't know which one, which button to turn, which knob to dial, which dial to turn, which button to press. It's like you go to a doctor, 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 Chati dugra, pain dugra, peed dugra, hand dugra, arm dugra. You need to tell something, right? Your ribs are paining, your backbone is paining, your, your stomach is paining, your eyes is paining, or this is happening, or that is happening. You will have to give specific details, then only doctor can give you medicine. Now you come and tell me a business is not growing the way it is. So I will ask you a question which departments are not working? What are the goals of each department? Where are you lacking? Most people are like blank, yes, sir. Well, how much business do? 50 crores. How many departments do you have? None. How many department heads do you have? None. Tumara nasib to tum yada kaj gaya. Iski aage nahi jayega. So if you want to achieve next level success, then you must, you must divide your business in these 10 major areas. These are called areas of business. Write them down. Areas of, if you don't write, you'll not remember. Guys, so please, this is not, this is not a sermon, right? This is not provision. You will have to make notes. Only then you will remember. Quickly, fast, fast, fast. If you don't have pen and paper, run and get it. Otherwise, you will not remember anything. What are the 10 different functional areas or 10 different business areas you can divide your business into and then look at business as a combination of these 10 areas, not one as a whole. Not one as a whole. So what are these 10 areas in which you have to divide your business? Let's write down. Number one. Number one. Marketing. Now, what is marketing? Marketing is department which generate inquiries. Generate inquiries. Every big major company has marketing as number one department. Second department is sales. I will say, is marketing sales? Is sales marketing? No. Sometimes we call our sales guys marketing guys. They actually don't do marketing. Marketing is only generation of inquiry. Sales is actually selling the customer, taking the inquiry and explaining the benefits of the product or sharing the benefits of the product. Or, and that sharing can be done one-on-one, one-on-many, -on -one, one -on online, offline, through a portal, by anything. But people who are running that activity are called salespeople. Next department is operations. You know, when you take the money from the customer and you start providing the value to the customer, the department does that is operation. The next area or department is customer service, right? Write down, customer service. What is customer service? So basically making sure the customers, customer get their query resolved, their grievances sorted, their understanding or created and their support given and, you know, handling of their requests. Then innovation and IT. What is innovation? Looking at newer ways of doing business. IT is what? Information technology. How you can integrate tech into your business. So innovation and IT. Number six is human resource. Team management. Building an organization. Now, Please write this statement down. One is too small a number for success. Write down. One is too small a number for success. It is not possible that you can build a business alone with few people. Business is a team sports. Write this down. Business is a team sport. You can't play solo. It is not chess. It is cricket, for example, or hockey or football. It requires the entire team and team could be all the departments, all the department people, various people, various skill sets, they come together to make a company and a business. 
बोले हमारे अकाउंटेंट है शाम को भाजी भी लाते मल्टीटास्किंग डज नॉट वर्क लुकिंग फॉर चीप टैलेंट तो चीप और टैलेंट होता नहीं है साथ में इधर इज चीप और इज टैलेंट इफ टैलेंट विल नॉट कम चीप चीप विल नॉट टैलेंट All these things we talk more about it as we go along. Right now, just giving giving you a hang of it. So even the sauce, then financial management. How do you manage your cash flows? How do you manage your profitability? How do you maintain your books? You know how do you get your money for your future expansion and growth? Your fund management. Everything comes under financial management. Then you come under under legal management. How do you handle your MOUs? How do you handle your contracts? How do you handle your relationship with vendors, suppliers, customers? How do you follow the legal framework with the government or the um, jurisdiction you are working with all that and more comes into legal man right training and development number 9 what is training the their development development means how do you build your capabilities of your team how do you help them to get their knowledge how do you help them get their skills and how do you build their mindset mindset which is active which is aggressive which is working every day day in out and looking at growth how do you build that kind of mindset yes that is a very and that is a work that is actually a lot of that is your work right at least your thoughts if you are not not your the next one is business leadership how does a leader behave how does a leader build an organization how the the leader puts in fire in his team and how does a leader make sure that all the people are looking in the same direction alignment towards the business goals so all this and more comes under the sector of business leadership now these are the departments and until you divide your business and your activities into these departments you are not clear about anything in the business right it's everything is lost in in translation right so doesn't work people don't understand things don't grow so first of all divide the entire business activities into this department into this heads and club similar activity of the similar nature together so you have 10 different areas now now you want to grow your business give me a thumbs up give me a yes in the chat window thumbs up to the people give me a yes in the chat window if you want to grow your business next level type me a yes come on everybody Good morning. Stay away. Good evening. Actually, go type yes in the chat window. Go type yes in the chat window. Everybody, go type yes, yes, yes. Say yes in the chat window. Everybody, say yes in the chat window. Do business. Do you achieve your goals? Do you hit your goals? Over achieve your goals? Type yes in the chat window. Type yes in the chat window. Let me see that. Let me see your energy. Let me see your commitment. Let universe see your commitment. Because when universe sees your commitment, universe blesses you with lot of results. Type yes to tell the universe that you are ready for your goal setting. Okay, lovely. I love you guys. My brothers and sisters, I really, really, honestly love you. You guys are amazing. Now let's look at number two. Step number two. It's called setting departmental goals. Now you have set departments, right? But then now any business plan is ineffective until and unless there are goals. Goals. requires planning so strategic planning starts with the second step which is setting up clear departmental goals now what are departmental goals as we said earlier departments are marketing write down what is what 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 could be goal for marketing i am giving you examples there could be many which you have to create with your team members right uh marketing the goal of marketing can be say for example x number of leads per month That's goal for marketing. Itni inquiry many ki chitti, right? Goal for marketing. Now let's talk about sales. Now sales could be why amount of revenue per month. There's so much profit per month. There are so many units sold per month. That's your sales goals, right? You must have marketing goals. You must have sales. Now let's look at another another department. Operation. Now, what is the operation? Me, what goal? Oh, there are so many. The goals of managing vendors. Vendor care. Vendor care, care for whom is key result area. Write this down once for all, so that you don't ask me next time. Right? What is vendor care? Okay, vendor care is key result area for a vendor. Right? So what could be key result area? But I'm just giving you examples for everything. Right? So that you're clear when you go back and you go have this solid knowledge. So vendor care means that vendor will deliver this kind of quality. Vendor will deliver in this kind of timeline. Vendor will deliver in this kind of condition. Vendor will follow these SOPs. So these key result data which are given to vendor are managed by you, right? Then it could be production or service care is in operation. If you are producing something, if you are manufacturer, then there are care for that, right? This much normally done, this much percentage, uh, this much percentage, this much timeline, whatever, 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 right? So your your production care is, and if you are doing a service, then service care is called SLA, service level agreements. 
So you decide how will you run the operation. Turnaround time can be a KRA for operation. It's the time to honor chain, right? In this much time, it should get done. Quality could be a, a KRA of operations, right? This quality of service or this quality of product should be there. And how you can judge, you can find with customer, uh, customer quality check can be done with customer, quality check, check can be done physically, quality check can be done by third party, hundreds of ways you can check quality. But there must be goals. This, this is the kind of quality we'll deliver. So there have to be set quality background, right? Such set quality parameters. Then reducing cost can be a KRA for operation. Correct? There are so many and many more. Just giving you a few examples, right? There's so much more you can do, do by setting up department goals. And if you don't have department goals, then don't look at a business goal as such, it will be overwhelming. If you take departments, give them goals, it will become very easy. It's like moving the small gear, the big gear will move by itself. The small gear moves, then big gear, then big gear, then biggest gear. So biggest gear, don't try to move, move the smallest gear, which is department goals. Next one, customer service goals. That also you can set up easily. X number of customer query resolved in a day or in a week, in a month. Then reducing customer grievances. So customer service people will think, what are the grievances, how we can resolve them so that they don't come only next time. So resolving and then re re reducing future customer grievances. Isn't that the best way forward? Then meeting the predefined SLAs. Customer service will be given a SLA, service level agreement. Means this, this resolution in this much time. This resolution, this much quality, this much time. They have to do it within the time frame. Otherwise, there is no use. Customer is not happy. Is that right? Then let's look at the next one. HR. HR can have a role that payroll management on time. Then optimizing people's performance. Then number of recruitments in a month. So HR can have so many goals. And if you have a HR, it doesn't have, if you don't have a HR, then there's a big problem. Because then you cannot recruit, cannot manage, cannot engage, cannot have JDs, TRAs, cannot do appraisals on time, cannot decide bonuses and incentives, cannot manage payroll properly. Everything will be an issue. But performance of team will be also an issue. So HR must be there in HR and don't try to do everything yourself. Like HR be my home, my financial management be home, my IT innovation be home, my training development be home, my subkuchu or businessman be home, my superman, batman, spiderman. Right? Wo nahi hota hai. That doesn't work. So don't try to be that. Try to be something in the business but not everything in the business. Okay? Next one. Financial management. So monthly profit and loss, cash flow management that you're getting enough cash flow, compliances are being followed, means not legal compliances, financial compliances, and then taxations. All these things come under cash flow man uh, financial management. Then innovation and IT. Now, what is innovation? New product and services launched. Yeah, you must launch continuously new product and services. Then increasing revenue per customer. Right? How many, how much revenue per customer you can increase? Right? That's also innovation. Increasing the increasing the new markets. Where else can you sell? Tech integration. How do, you, how do you incorporate technology in your business and make it easy for people? Business automation, the, the ERPs, the CRMs, the, all, all the stuff. And what are we doing in that area? How are we automating businesses so that there's a reduction of error and there's an increase of efficiency? How many of you would want to learn more about various departments and the impact of customer goal setting Type yes in the chat window. Let me see that. How many of you are liking that? How many of you are making notes? And how many of you want to learn more and more about this? Go type yes in the chat. I need to see. I need to see the energy. I'm a high energy trainer. I want to see the energy. I want to see your excitement. I want to see your yes in the chat window. Come on, everybody. Give me yes in the chat window. Give me a yes. Give me a yes. Come on, quickly, quickly. Speed of light. Say yes, 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 yes. Say yes in the chat window. Come on, let me see that. Awesome. I love you guys. I love your energy. You guys are rock stars. All right. So innovation and ID. And then let's look at the next area, which is training and development. Now, there are so many things to do here. How do you improve people's skills? How do you improve people's knowledge? How do you build their mindset? How do you prepare their growth plan? How do you do TNA, training and analysis? And how do you feel fulfill that? There is so much to do. So, 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 so much to in training and development, right? Goals for that. Next goal is legal management, following due diligence, meeting legal guidelines. These could be goals for the department, 
creating and enforcing MOUs and contracts. If somebody is not following, then you enforce that. Then you create that. First you create, you get signatures, you get agreements, and then you enforce if required. So legal management means all these things should be done so that your business grows without issues and challenges. Some will, some won't, but you should be ready for all. And the last piece in the entire game plan is business leadership. How do you enhance the performance of your team? How do you do reports tracking? You know, how the business is going, MIS, Management Information System. MIS in short means reports, creating reports and tracking them. This person and did this much, this department this much, this activity this much, this is going up, this is going minus. People have no clue. People do it personally and that's not how business is run. You will go crazy, you will go mad. Next one is review and strategic management. You know, continuously review what's happening and give strategic ideas to change and help and shift. Then team management is also your work as a business leadership. How teams are growing, how second level leadership is developing, how are you doing delegation of work, how you see delegation growing, how you, how you, how you have career planning for people. So much to do as leadership. Then business goal settings, where you're planning to go, how many years, where you reach, what kind of business you become. Business goal setting, the long-term vision. So there's so much and so much more which you need to do as a business owner, right? That's your number number two, which is setting department-wise goals. So, 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 so very important, okay? Now, let's look at number three, step number three. Everybody keep writing, keep writing. Otherwise, you'll not remember anything what I'm talking about. Write down in your notebooks. Okay, number three, organizing resources. Now, this is where things become tricky. Merely having a business goal does not make them a reality. As any man a goal banaya, Ratman Sura Subhare, wow. Sabko jo gaya. So, aisa nahi hone wala. This is where resource optimization comes into play. From where you will get the resource, how will you get the resource, how will you apply all these resources, and how will you get things done? For example, okay, let me give you an example. If you wish to double your leads, Okay, or if you wish to double your turnover through doubling your leads, what all resources will you need? Agar aapko lead double karni hai, kya lagega? What will you do? Kya steps honge? So as per the above example, the resources will be divided into three parts. Write down everybody. If you wish to double your leads, double your turnover via doubling your leads, these are the resources you will need. Number one, write down. People. We will need more people, more specialized people to generate leads. Now these people need not be employees. It could be agencies, outsourced work, freelancers, collaborators, or your own people. But still, you need people to execute the plan, right? Some you cannot wake up and ask to bethna karta, kalse bethna karunga. Guess it. You will have to get more people, different people, more skilled people in that area. Number one. Number two, creating collaterals. You might need more creatives, more scripts, more presentations, more brochures, more case studies, more testimonials, more white papers more manuals, different different kind of stuff. So you need collaterals and support systems, it's called. Okay? Second is collaterals and support systems. Now you need that, collateral and support system. Number three is processes, tools, and technology. Write down. Collaterals and support system, number two again. Number three, processes, tools, and technology. Now, you might need new equipments. You might need new technology to double, triple your business, whatever you're planning, right? Whatever the plan is, this is an example. You might need new processes. You might need new platforms to work on. Platform could be business development platform, marketing platform, trading platform, manufacturing platform, um, uh, any kind of platform, IT platform, HR platforms. What new platform you might require to go to the next level? New machineries, right? Or tools like mass emailing or WhatsApp or marketing or you know new SOPs. You might require all processes Three things, processes, tools, or technologies. Processes, comma, tools, or technology, or, or everything, you know? So you require resource division can be in three parts. People, number one. Number two, collateral or support system. And number three, processes, tools, and technology. So now organizing these resources will play a vital role in becoming strategic growth, in creating strategic growth in your business. Right. So you need to organize these resources and then you need to use the resources to create strategic growth. Strategic growth. Now that's your number three. Now how many of you are liking? How many find it valuable? Go type valuable in the chat window. Let me see that. How many of you find the session valuable? How many of you are learning something 
go type valuable 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 in the chat room let me see that let me see that brother sister oh, i love you guys you guys are amazing thank you very much for the complete attention and complete participation but i would really like to know at this moment type valuable in the chat window if you're learning something type valuable in the chat window everybody type valuable 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 in the chat window let me see that man. with fire come on quickly quickly speed of light speed of light say valuable 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 in the chat window everybody say valuable in the chat window i love you guys you guys are amazing oh. All right, awesome. Let's go to number four. I am excited. I don't know how about you, but I am really excited to train you on this. This is something which has changed my life. This is something that changed my business and more than hundred thousand other businesses. Okay, so please pay attention. Next one, number four is design execution strategy. Ah, uh, now till now you 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 so you have divided into departments. You have divided department goals. Then now. You have created resources, and number four is to design execution. Up karoge kaise? How to do? Pay aage? How to do? Right now, this is where where rubber meets the road. मतलब actually tire गाड़ी road पे चलेगी. This is where most business owner fail. Now आप बोल रहे हैं क्या बात करते हो? Yes, they have plans, they have resources, but उसको put together नहीं कर पाते. मोती धागे में नहीं डाल पाते माला नहीं बनती है फेल हो जाते सो दे फेल इन क्रिएटिंग अफेक्टिव स्ट्रेटेजीज टू अचीव देयर गोल्स एंड प्लान सो लेट लेट मी बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट विथ यू ओके ग्रोथ डजेंट कम बाय डूइंग द सेम थिंग ऑल एंड ओवर अगेन वही करते रहोगे जो करते आए हो तो वही मिलता रहेगा जो मिलता आया है और अगर वो पा रहा है जो कभी नहीं मिला औ जी तो वो करना पड़ेगा जो कभी नहीं किया If you keep doing whatever you've been doing, you will keep getting whatever you are getting. And if you want to get something which you have never got, you will have to do something which you have never freaking done. So when it comes to growth, you need to put new plans in action, and you need to learn new plans, and then you need to test new plans. यहाँ पे लोग गोल जाते हैं गाड़ी. उनको लगता है वही पुराना ढरा चलाते रहेंगे जहाँ तक अभी पहुँचे. जहाँ तक अभी पहुँचे हो आप. ये यहीं तक आने तक के गोल था वो. यही तक की लाइक स्ट्रेटजी तो अटक गया ना अभी ऑलरेडी नाउ यू नॉट गोइंग फर्दर नाउ इफ यू वांट टू गो फर्दर इफ यू वांट टू इंक्रीज द स्पीड यू नीड टू चेंज द प्लान यू नीड टू लर्न हाउ टू मेक न्यू प्लान एंड देन यू टू टेस्ट द न्यू प्लान एंड देन यू टू क्रिएट द न्यू प्लान दिस इज द ओनली वे माय वे ओके सो लेट्स लुक एट लुक एट दिस सो यू नीड टू अपग्रेड योर स्ट्रेटजी लिसन टू माय वर्ड वेरी क्लियरली अपग्रेड योर स्ट्रेटजी अभी आप क्लास टेंथ की स्ट्रेटजी बना रहे हो लेवल की अभी आपको ग्रेजुएशन लेवल की बनानी है अपग्रेड योर स्ट्रेटजीज इन ईच डिपार्टमेंट सो दैट यू कैन अचीव डिपार्टमेंट लेवल ग्रोथ नो स्ट्रेटजीज वन ऑन वन स्ट्रेटजीज स्ट्रेटजी हैज टू बी इंडिविजुअल बिकॉज़ बिकॉज़ आई डोंट नो योर गोल्स आई डोंट नो योर बिजनेस सिटिंग हियर इन डिटेल आई डोंट नो योर चैलेंजेस आई डोंट नो योर कस्टमर्स आई डोंट नो योर प्रोडक्ट सो आई कांट गिव यू अ स्ट्रेटजी जस्ट लाइक दैट जो सब पे चल जाए ऐसा होता तो वाह 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 क्या समस्या है इनकी जीवन में राइट right, आते बैठते और सब फिर से सॉल्व कर देते हियर यू नीड लिटिल कस्टमाइज अप्रोच ओके बट लेट मी टेल यू व्हाट आर स्मॉल एंड कंसिस्टेंट चेंजेस लिसन टू मी वेरी केयरफुली व्हाट आर स्मॉल एंड कंसिस्टेंट चेंजेस एंड डेवलपमेंट यू नीड टू मेक इन ईच डिपार्टमेंट सो दैट यू मीट द एंड गोल व्हिच यू प्लान फॉर योर बिजनेस एंड गोल ऑफ बिजनेस विल बी अचीव बाय क्रिएट बाय हिटिंग small and consistent changes and hitting small and consistent these are goals in each department so let me give you examples please make a note please make a note these are all examples right number one strategy number one example can be marketing okay marketing what can you do a strategy to increase the number of leads yes can you not you can create a strategy to improve the number of leads You know what you come into. You can you can also have a strategy to improve the quality of the lead, right? You have to create a strategy for that. It will not happen by by itself. The care care. अपने अपने डिवेलप करने के लिए डिवेलप करना. कुछ करना पड़ेगा तब कुछ ठीक हो. Next one. For sales, you can have a strategy for improving closing ratios, right? Or you can have a strategy for generating higher revenues, right? Then uh, operation, you can have a strategy to 
रिड्यूस द टर्न ऑन टाइम जल्दी काम खत्म हो यू कैन रिड्यूस द कॉस्ट दैट वुड बी स्ट्रेटेजी इन फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट वुड बी इंप्रूविंग कैश फ्लो कि धंधे में पैसा घूमता रहे आता रहे जेब में और एक्स्ट्रा है तो साइड में कर सकते हो राइट इफ एवरीथिंग कम्स एंड गेट्स रोटेटेड यू नॉट डूइंग बिजनेस यू डूइंग रोटेशन है ना आपको आया मुंह को नहीं लगा ऐसा नहीं होना चाहिए राइट देन देयर हैज टू बी स्ट्रेटजी टू रिक्रूट एंड रिटेन एम्प्लॉइज ओह माय गुडनेस हाउ डू यू रिक्रूट द राइट पीपल हाउ डू यू रिटेन देम हाउ डू यू ग्रो देम हाउ डू यू बिल्ड देम विद लॉट ऑफ वर्क एंड दैट्स अ ओनर्स माइंड व्हिच हैज टू वर्क देयर राइट तो मगर अपना क्या है अपने पास तो टाइम ही नहीं है क्यों क्योंकि अपने चक्की भी सिंह में लगे दिन भर राइट एवरीडे यू आर डूइंग सेल्स एंड ऑपरेशन द होल डे गोस लाइक दैट ओनली राइट द नेक्स्ट वन व्हिच यू नीड टू डू इज स्ट्रेटजी टू एंटर न्यू मार्केट्स फॉर आइडेंटिफाइंग ऑफ न्यू मार्केट identifying of new product identifying of new services all these things need to be done so if you want to take your business to next level when you set department goals when you organize resource then you have to make a number of strategies <laughs> and those strategies actually are action plans which takes you to next level okay number 5 how How do you do growth projection? It's called budgeting growth projection, right? Now, number five, budgeting growth projection. Now, this is also a dangerous place. Mold, है ना? एक mold आया, गंदी छोड़ आया. So, this is also a very dangerous place. Here, yeah, a lot of business owners go wrong. Okay. So, they have a goal, they have a resource, they have a strategy, and they feel. कल से हो जाएगा बस strategy लगा दी बाबूजी अभी देखो तब कल उठेगे तो सब सब पांच सौ नहीं डाइगी ऐसा होता नहीं, right? so you have to project your future growth in a telescopic manner you have seen a telescope it goes from small and then become bigger 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 a telescopic manner because when you put a strategy then also you have to do projection how much impact the strategy will create in month one month two month three month four month five year one year two year three year four year five so you have to create a telescopic growth plan right so for example you do double your sales right now if you have the resource you have the plan you have the strategy but it will not happen on day one for it leads to increase it will take time after the strategy is implemented right and you will have to do some fine tuning try about fine tuning tuning me fine tuning little bit here there so you should have month on month a realistically realistic growth plan for example you say first month i will grow my leads 15% then what it is coming to next month the strategy will continue 25% the next month 30% the next month 40% slowly you will grow so this way gradually you are putting the pedal on the accelerator and managing your growth efficiently so it cannot be that you pump in three times the money and get three times the growth in one month that will not happen because your resources need to be matured your team needs to be matured your system has to be matured and then slowly you grow whether it is leads whether it is customer management it is customer service everything needs time to build right now and maybe for the first two month you might be running behind getting the resources or doing the first level execution testing and by the third month you might just get some results maybe first two month might wash out so being realistic and strategic is the key here and the golden rule is keep the numbers realistic do duniya aasman promise kar de aapko chand dikha de daily pe but you have to keep your number realistic ki kab se kab itna to ho hi jaye and that should be in your mind isse kam nahi hote growth mein plan lamba karo but at minimum mep bol the minimum expected performance par le chalo kitna bhi ho gaya that also happy so cre create resources strategy for mep and the goal the vision has to be locked huge massive right so if as a business owner you are able to do this your growth will be next level <laughs> now how many of you feel that if you follow these five steps and somebody can support you and guide you in this five step you will be able to grow and scale your business profitably go type profitable in the chat window go type profitable in the chat let me see that how many of you feel this five step makes sense and if you able to do that you will get that desired result go say profitable 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 say profitable in the chat window come on everybody come on everybody let's do that say profitable in the chat window go say profitable in the chat window now now please please quickly quickly let me see remember when you say something the universe answers the question say profitable to get the blessings of universe that i'm going to use the five steps and i'm going to build my business grow my business scale my business profitably the growth and the scaling has to be profitable not non profitable 
whole chapter to say profitable, profitable, profitable. Everybody say profitable. Oh, I love you, my brothers and sisters. You guys are amazing. I love you. I love you. I love you. Amazing. Thank you very much for doing that for me. Now, so if you are looking at next level, cutting edge, out of the world kind of a growth, okay, I'm going to give you a five stage set. Okay, five stage setup. Write down five stage setup. Okay, five stage, not one stage, five stage. There are five steps of strategic planning. Now I'm going to give you five stage setup. What is needed to be done? This should be very careful. Now, if you are a business owner who is looking at ways and means or aspiring business owner, you're looking at ways and means to build your business on a consistent basis. That means it should not be kabhi kushi, kabhi kab, karalam, pom, pom. Uh, you want a business which, which continuously gives you results, which runs without you, and which takes away your pain of lack of sales, lack of leads, lack of team, uh, lack of strategies, and uh, lack of control systems, lack of cash flow, if you want to get rid of all these challenges of your business, I'm going to give you a five-stage setup. Write it down. So when you, when you look at your business, your business has to be identified with a problem statement. Write it down. Step, stage number one is fix a problem. Write down. Stage number one is fix a problem. Very important, very critical, very amazing. Write this down, guys. Fix a problem. Now, what do you mean by fix a problem? Huh? What do you mean by that? Business basically is a, is a service. Something you do for the customer. Whether product or you give service. Basically, through your product and services, you try to solve customer problem and you try to get some profit out of it. Isn't it? If you solve the customer problem without a profit, you become an NGO. Right? If you solve the problem of a customer for a profit, you become for profit organization or you become non-profit organization, but you are a for-profit organization, but it works in the exactly same way. You are also a problem solver. To fix a problem means identify a problem which is big enough, focus on the problem deeply so that you can understand how you can create valuable solutions. How you can create valuable solutions. That is also called value ladder. Right now, that's also called value ladder. So how do you create valuable solutions? That's extremely important, guys. Extremely important. So fix a problem means finding out how can you create valuable solutions for the problem which your customers are facing. So identifying the problem and try to look at valuable solutions. Number two, fix your strategies. All these various strategies. Fix your strategy so that you can have proper results for your business. Next one is to fix your team. Now, what are the things to be fixed in team? How the team has to fix a lot of stuff to be done. Fix your team and fix your foundation. Your foundation of your business, right? What are the various foundation elements? How do you have foundation strong? And how do you get consistent results from your business? Fixing your foundations. You know, your department, your activities in that department, fixing your foundation. Then fix your money, your finance and cash flow. So five stage setup means five things need to be fixed. Fix your problem efficiently. Fix your strategies efficiently. Fix your team effectively. Fix your foundation properly. And fix your money and cash flow. When you fix these five stage framework, you get the next level results in your life and in your business. And if you want to learn how to fix the five stage framework, how to understand this five stage framework, I have an upcoming workshop, right? And I would send you the link for that workshop, right? Register in that workshop and come and join me for around three hours where I teach you how do you fix business strategies in business, all the departments and how do you get things done? What are the things which you need to do, right? And why should you do it? Why do you fix a problem? Why do you fix your strategy? Why do you fix your team? Why do you fix your foundation? Why do you fix your money in cash flow? If you do, what happens? If you don't do, what happens? So there are a lot of details on why do you do all these things and why are these things important? 
in my upcoming workshop. There are links in the chat window. Guys. There are links in the chat window. I want you to click the links, right? And register for this workshop because this workshop is on limited seats and there are a lot of people here right now and my seats might get filled up and only those many intake I take and very few seats are remain right now. So go, click the link and register yourself. There's a fee of 99 rupees. Pay that fee. Pay that fee, you can pay via a lot of options are there. Credit card, debit card, net banking, UPI, anything, you know, wallets, all options are there. So keep the link and join me for this amazing, amazing program, which is called Entrepreneur to Wealthpreneur. Right? This program is called Entrepreneur to Wealthpreneur, where we guide business owners for a longer time, maybe three hours, three and a half hours. Where we teach you, we even, even we teach you things like Facebook marketing, leadership strategies, which is over and above as bonuses. Also, also people who register today, okay, go quickly register yourself because I'm going to give you some very powerful bonuses right now. People register today for this program. I'm going to give you, well, I'll give you one of my eBooks, okay? I'm going to give you one of my eBooks which will help you to find solutions for various kind of business nature of businesses, okay? Okay, let me give you one more thing. As I'm going along, I'm just giving you bonuses. I will also give you an access to my VIP community on Instagram. So let me give that to you. But there's a, the, I run a VIP community on Instagram. I'm going to give you a link for that. And I'm going to register in that where you'll have weekly trainings coming to you. Weekly guidance coming to you. And also I give you a Facebook course, right? Where you learn how to have the strategies, how to have learning. I will give you a three three video course where you learn about your business challenges and how to resolve them. And also we will discuss that in group and what you have learned and what has your understanding and how we can take it further. So I'm going to give you a WhatsApp uh, course. I'm going to give you Instagram community link and I'm going to give you an ebook. Along with that, I'm going to give you three and a half hour session, right? Only one rupee is 99. So click the links that are given below, pay it and let's learn how do we fix a problem? How, why do we fix our strategies? Why do, I, why, why do we fix our team? Why do we fix our foundations of different departments? What are the departments? What are the foundations? Why do we fix it? And why do we fix our money? And what is cash flow? And how the cash flow comes? And why we need to fix our cash flow? Why is it so important to fix this in this five-stage five stage setup of business where you will know that these are the things which need to be done to business, build the business scalable and profitable and getting the results that you want. So everybody, quickly go ahead Put down right now the click the link, click the link. It's already there in the chat window. Click the link. Come on, quickly. Speed of light, guys. Why have, why have I kept this for 99? Why not free? I'll tell you why not free. I want some commitment. I want people who are committed to the growth who are going to give me three and a half hours. They come. It's a commitment fee. It's not really a fee. Okay? So put down right now. Get your mind zoned out in, in the entire thing. Zoomed in and get ready for a fantastic, fabulous, out of the world session which will take your results as a business owner to the next level, everybody. So go to the link in the chat window and register yourself for this amazing session, right? Which is called Entrepreneur to Wealthpreneur. Write down the name also. Entrepreneur to Wealthpreneur Challenge, which will help you understand why to fix the problem, why to fix your strategy, why to fix your team, why to fix your foundation, why to fix money question, and it will also talk about, as I said earlier, it's going to talk about Facebook advertisement. How do you do it? What are the steps? What are the challenges? So you learn how to take the next level. It will also talk about leadership and how you could be a business leader and how can many more people following you to get the results and how can you lead in your market space, what it does to you, how it is done and how it impacts your overall life. So it's going to be absolutely amazing, absolutely out of the world. So click the link and make the payment. As I said, I'm going to give you multiple bonuses. The bonuses themselves are about 20,000 rupees. But I'm going to give it to you today. If you register for this and come and see me, spend some time with me, spend three, four hours. You will learn a lot. Okay? Not only about business, but also about leadership, also about advertisement, also about Facebook, also about a little bit of a digital marketing. So you'll get a complete picture of business growth plan. So go ahead, click the link right now. And let's get registered, guys. Listen to me. This will take your results next time. I'm going to give you an ebook. I'm going to give you access to my VIP community on Instagram, where you have business owners talking about businesses. I'm also going to give you a WhatsApp post 
where you learn about certain things which are very critical for your business growth. So these are some amazing set of bonuses. And I really, really don't want you to miss that. And I really, really don't want you to miss this program because this dates are there in the chat window. The dates of the program in the chat window. So register, it's an upcoming workshop. Dates are there in the chat window and this will take your results to the next level. So do not lose this opportunity. Do not lose this chance. This is a make or break for you, right? So do that and I'm going to see you inside the workshop and we're going to learn next level thing, right? In team, uh, what, what are the important criteria? You know, recruitment, how, how do you do that? What are the challenges face, right? When your team is not uh, responding to you, what do you do? When your team is not productive, what do you do? So many things to know about team, so many things to know about problem statement, so many uh, product pro program design, customer service, customer support, operations, so many things to do about everything to do with business, including digital marketing via Facebook and including leadership. So it's going to be an overall an amazing program. Go register yourself so that we can help you to get your business to less. It's just 99 and the idea is to have some commitment. So you show up on time and you are serious about doing that entire thing. I always say, when you pay, you pay attention. So you pay a little bit, be a part of this, and this will be a transformation journey for you. Now, let me just quickly give you a quick revision of what we did today so that you are clear about strategic planning for MSME businesses. Write down, guys. If you missed something, if you came late, I'm going to give you a rundown of the entire session once again in short. So we said, why strategic planning? Because the major challenges with micro, small, and medium-sized enterprises is that they start a business, they start building a business, but they're not able to grow because they don't have a proper plan. They have a very basic, a very ad hoc plan, which has got some sales and marketing numbers, which has got some revenue numbers, profit numbers, but they really are not able to do backward calculation of how exactly will I achieve it. Now somebody is a 40 crores, says I want to go 100 crores. That's a goal. That's a business plan, but that's not strategic planning. Strategic planning is how will you reach 200 crores or 50 crores? Doing that, you need to have tools which will help business owners to navigate your actions and strategies so that you can achieve a destination on time with no trial and error. Now, that is why you do it and that is why is it important. What were the few uh, steps which you take to get this done is the number one step is you divide the entire business into various activities. 99% of business owners don't do this division. They just run business as a whole. That's why you don't know where to focus. They don't have smaller gear to move. Remember, when you move the smaller gear, the bigger gear move by itself. So you need to have smaller gears. If you make it tight, the overall business gear will happen. So what are the small gears? I'm giving you 10 areas of business. Okay, I'm going to repeat that for you. If you miss something, write down. Marketing, sales, operations, customer service, innovation and IT. Okay, my guys, we'll paste also this. Right? Team, please also paste in the background so that they don't miss out. Right? Please also keep pasting. Right? So marketing, sales, operations, customer service, innovation and IT, human resource, financial management, legal management, training and development, and business leadership. You need to divide the business into all these activities so that you can decide what will you do with each activity so that your overall goal will be achieved because of these small goals. So number two step, as obviously I stated, setting up the departmental business goals. So any business plan is ineffective or useless until the small department goals are set. So strategic planning, next second step is to set this clear departmental goals. As I said, marketing, what are the number of leads you require? Sales, what is the average revenue you require? Operations, how do you manage the vendor KRA? How do you manage the turnaround time? How do you manage quality? How do you reduce cost? In customer service, number of customers' grievances resolved. Reducing the customer grievances. Meeting the predefined SLAs. In HR, your recruitment, your payroll management, optimizing people's performance, right? In financial management, your monthly PLs, your cash flow management, your accounting, your compliance, your taxation, your MIS, right? Then innovation ID, new product and services. That's innovation. Increasing revenue plus per, per client, new markets, technological integration, business automation, all this innovation in IT, training and development, increasing people's capability, increasing their skills and knowledge, and giving them the right mindset. You know, uh, 
uh, legal management, following the due diligence, creating MOUs, contracts, and enforcing them if required. Business leadership, number 10, last, performance enhancement, tracking the team performance, team performance enhancement, reviewing them, giving them strategic inputs, managing the team overall, business goal setting, vision, everything, so many things you need to do, right? Number three, organizing resources. Now, this is where it, becomes, where it starts becoming tricky. Now, having business goals department-wise will not just help you to make it a reality. Here, what resource planning will come to the picture, right? If you wish to double your leads or if you double your turnover, then you need to have a plan, right? You need to have resources for that. So you have a plan on paper that you want to do that, but you need to have resources so that you can use the resources and do that. What are the resources? People, number one. Collateral and support system. Number two, any creative presentation, brochures, testimonials, whatever you need, right? Then number three is process, tools, technologies, equipment, machinery, marketing system, sales systems, platforms, whatever you require. Blasting emails, you know, if it is uh, uh, mass emailing, if it is, you know, marketing. So you need people, better equip, more sharp, right people. You can hire, you can outsource, you can collaborate, doesn't matter. But you need people, right, to achieve the resource, to achieve the goal. So first resource is people. Second resource is collateral or support system. How will you do things, right? You need some base, you need some platforms. Then processes, tools, new technologies, so that you can complete that. So you have to organize the resource. Once you organize the resource, then how to use the resource become next one, which is execution strategy. Now you have a plan, here you have the plan, you have the resource, but how will you do that? How will you get it done? That is where the rubber meets the road and that is where most business owners fail. Most, uh, they have ample plans, they have a lot of resources, but they can't put it in action because they don't have the strategy. And they don't do new things. That is where they get stuck. So getting new plans, Testing new plans, implementing new plans, that department-wise goals, achieving them, tracking them. That is what we need. So we need strategies to increase lead, the strategies to increase customer conversion. We need strategies to reduce the turnaround time. We need strategies for improving cash flows, recruiting team members, entering new markets. How will you do that? The step-by-step -step plan of how to go about doing it, that's the dirty job. And that's where strategy planning comes into the place. Number five is budget growth projection. Now, I'm saying that's something where people go all over the place. They have the resource, they have the plan, but they're not budgeted. They think it's going to happen. You have to make telescopic growth plan. Maybe you start something one month one, month two, you don't see anything. But month three, you see. Maybe you see 5% in month one, 5, 7% in month two, and third week, third month, you see 20%. So you have to make strategic telescopic growth plan and gradually you press the accelerator and you manage the growth. So being realistic and strategic, that's how you make an entire plan. So golden rule is keep the number realistic and dream for the sky, but plan for next step, right? So as a business owner, as I said, if you're able to execute these five steps, you will grow, you will scale your business profitably and that's guaranteed. Now, to be able to build business profitably and consistently and effortlessly. That's the key word, effortlessly. And if you want that, you need to set up in your business the five-stage setup. You know, what is the five-stage setup? There are five stages where you need to fix things in your business. Number one, fix the problem. That means you must identify a problem and find the best way to solve it, okay? Fix your strategies. How do you create strategies? How do you fix them? Then fix your team. Why you need to do that? What are the different areas? What are the different challenges? Then fix your foundation of different departments. Fix your timeline. Your Sorry, fix your money and your cash. flow. These are five things which you need to fix. Once you fix that, your business will grow towards scalability, will grow towards profitability, will get you time to be free, will create massive wealth. And that's the goal of any business, to generate massive wealth. So if you wish to generate massive wealth, this is what will work for you, five-stage setup. And if you want to learn about five-stage setup, I have a special program coming up. A special, special, super special program coming up. 
and the dates are in the chat window and there's a link to register for that program. You need to pay rupees 99 to register for this program and beautifully, it's, you know, this program is designed to help business owners and aspiring business owners to learn everything which is needed, right? And if you're registering today, because today's the only day to register, right? There's no tomorrow. If you're registered to today, I'm going to give you bonuses, which are also mentioned in the chat window. Bonuses worth 20,000 rupees, absolutely free for becoming a part of it. These are all trainings. These are all associations which cost a lot of money to people. But today you're getting it free. I'm going to give you an ebook. I'm going to give you an access to my VIP community for entrepreneurs. And I'm also going to give you a WhatsApp course and a couple of more things. Everything is mentioned in the chat window below. Click the link and make the payment very quickly because I'm going to close the offer right now and we will be closing the session very, very soon. So guys, quickly go ahead, put the click, sorry, press the button, click the button and pay the money. And I'm going to see you inside this workshop which is called Entrepreneur to Wealthpreneur Challenge. Entrepreneur to Wealthpreneur Challenge is something which has changed lives from so many years, right? This is a very, very powerful workshop. It's coming up very soon. The dates are in the chat window. Do not miss this opportunity at all because then you'll be learning and growing to the next level. And if you like this program, we're going to do multiple successions in the future, which is under the series of building business. But if you want to learn, which you must learn as for me, how do you set up your business in the right direction? How do you fix everything in your business? You want to fix this, fix that. I'm going to do five things to fix. How, why to fix that? Why is it so important to understand the bigger picture of the game? Bigger picture. How do you understand the bigger picture? To understand the bigger picture, I'm going to give you this opportunity to register right now. Fix your problem, fix your strategy, fix your team, fix your foundation, fix your money, in fact, cash flow, plus get all access of multiple bonuses going off the shelf right now. So click the link and join the session and I'm going to see you inside this session, welcoming you to the next level of business. Thank you very much for joining in. And do not forget to click the link and make the payment. I am looking forward to see you very, very soon. God bless you. Take care. See you inside the workshop.